Hey what's up everyone, JB here with another Planet Recovery video and today we're going to be talking about abortion in, in Arizona and how there's been a 15 week ban put on abortion and what that means um, for, for people that are pregnant and for what it means uh, basically in conjunction of the history of why this is happening. So basically we all know that Roe v. Wade has been overturned and basically there was uh, a 15 week law that would, was going into effect that was, I think it's like over 100 years old, that was pre-state, like it was there before the state was like given state, statehood I guess. Um, so before Arizona was a state but it was like a place um, with people in it. I'm not sure if they went by the name of Arizona then or if they were just like a group, like a territory almost. Um, you know, when they were like moving out west. But basically, it bans almost all abortions. Um, basically, <clears throat> that's not being put into law. However, a 15-week law was passed by the state legislative. Um, so basically, it's not as restrictive as the 1864 neo-total ban, which uh, basically, the appeals court decided not to repeal that. They said it cannot be enforced for health uh, professionals. However, non-health uh, health professionals could still be subject to the punishment from the 1864 uh, law, it seems. <clears throat> so, doctors are subject to violating the 15-week ban, meaning if they perform an abortion after the 15-week ban, they can be, you know, charged with whatever the state deems is what they charged for that, uh, that what, what is a crime at that point. Um, however, non-health uh, care uh, professionals can still be charged, uh, even, be, uh, you know, be, uh, at, for anything even within 15 weeks because of the, this 1864 near total ban. So uh, basically the Republican uh, Attorney General was asking for the pre standard ban to be enforced uh, following the overturning of Roe, which I, I believe when I was looking into it, the, the, um, the, the 1860, what was it, 1864 one was in, in, uh, in effect until Roe v. Wade, I believe, from what I could see. Um, let me just clarify that. I want to make 100% sure I'm not saying anything. Um, Yes, so the pre-statehood law, which allows abortions only if patient life is in jeopardy, had been blocked from being enforced shortly after the U.S. Supreme Court issued its 1973 Roe v. Wade decision. Okay, so yeah, I was right in that. I just want to clarify because I don't want to be saying anything that's false. So under this construction, our contemporary uh, statutes permit physicians to perform elective abortions after 15 weeks, but only in co conformity with a host of exacting regulations. So basically, you can have it. There's certain regu uh, you know, regulations that go with this, but you know you're going to be able to abortion up to 15 weeks, generally speaking. So uh, I do think abortion's pretty bad as like a, as a thing. Like, right? You're like you're ending a life. You're ending uh, even if you don't say it's a life. You're saying you're ending a what what could be a life, right? Um, so there's moral arguments there. There's scientific arguments there. I'm not going to get into all that, but I do think that within reason there should be some kind of cutoff day i don't think it should be super late i don't think it should be super like super duper early right um i've kind of like had thoughts on this this subject i'm not going to go fully into that but um yeah I, I think that there are cases where abortion is is a thing that should be allowed to happen um generally speaking though i think that it's way too late that this is allowed so i like to see that they're they are getting like more herd line on like after the x amount of weeks you can't have it anymore unless there's extenuating circumstances right um for instance if the mother's life is in risk and some other some other uh examples there's a few other reasons uh that, that abortion could be uh allowed to occur but yeah um going into the finish this off other states that have strict abortion laws include alabama arkansas idaho kentucky louisiana mississippi missouri oklahoma south dakota tennessee texas west virginia and wisconsin i just want to do that fast and then bans in montana north dakota ohio south carolina utah and wyoming are also not in effect for now states have decided if they can be enforced so yeah that's kind of my um my my, my thoughts on this you know i think it's 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 an interesting decision. It's kind of weird that like it. This applies for some, but not for all. I wonder. How, I don't know exactly how they. I think they got to that um, by basically looking at other laws that are also in the books, not just that one law saying, "Oh, these laws say this. This law says this." They kind of like you told me this all accumulated in having a certain like, uh, result. Uh, I would say so. Yeah. Um, let me know what you think down below. Do you think this is a good decision, bad decision? Why? What do you think it means for the future? And yeah. Um, love you so much. See you next video. Bye, everybody. Peace, peace.